So we've talked about the history of the company. We've talked about our philosophy and why we build vans. We've talked about all the little details that go into the product. And now we've made it to the fun part. This is the personal part and the part where the rubber really starts to meet the road, literally. Whether you're looking at buying a inventory unit or you're looking at building a van custom, the process is pretty much gonna look the same. This is the design process. First things first in the design process is research. This is the foundation in which we'll move forward. We could get super deep into the design process, but first it's important that you research our product, our history, our company, and the different components that go into it to figure out at the very beginning if our product is something that is viable for you. Things that could be important to you would be storage. Maybe that's above head storage. Another thing that could be important to you would be kitchen. Are you gonna be cooking on the inside of the van? Or what type of gear are you gonna be putting inside the van? These are all things that you should consider whenever you're doing your research stage. There's really three different places that you can do the research and get really as much information as you need before chatting with a van guru at Van Do It. The best place is probably gonna be the Van Do It website. We put so much content on our website and we do all of that for you so you can have a really good idea of what type of quality product that we're creating and what your options for in that, in that product. A second great place, if you don't like to read, would be YouTube. We put a ton of content on YouTube that describes our different components, that walk through different experiences people have had in our product, and just talk about what we are as a company and what we can do for you. The third great place for research is honestly just social media. I would recommend getting in tune with different Facebook pages, following us on Instagram and Pinterest as we're coming out with new product and sharing more people's stories about how they're using their van do it. So once you've made your way to the website, probably one of the best links on the tab is going to be the components page. So once you click on the components page, you can scroll through and it's really gonna give you almost an exhaustive list of the different options and components that you can put into your van. So you can look on those, each, each option has a description and it also has a video with it. So once you've looked into the different components that you can put into a van, next step is going to the model section. So the model section is going to distinguish between our different models. You can distinguish between the live model and the do model. The, really the biggest differences between the do model and the live model is in the do model you have fold down beds and you can have more of an open concept. This one's probably better to sleep more people, maybe around four people and above. And the live model is gonna be more of your camper-esque van with the garage underneath, the gear slide, and having the hydraulic bed. So once you've done the research on both of these models, there's actually gonna be a little tab that you can click on that says, design your van today. You can click on that and it's gonna run you through a series of questions. It'll ask which options you like, what your specific needs are, and once you fill this out, it'll actually send your information over to a van guru to where they can see your main wants and needs and help you through the entire process. So once you've filled out the online questionnaire, you will be put into contact with a van guru. A van guru will personally reach out to you our goal is to hear all about what your desire is. We wanna hear your vision behind why do you want a van. And we wanna hear how you're gonna be using it, the different things that need to go into your van, the different needs and the wants that you have. Once we have a good idea as to what you need a van for, we're able to better direct you in terms of which type of model or which component do you need. After this initial conversation, the initial contact, the next step in this overall process is gonna be scheduling a build sheet meeting. We take this entire process very seriously. And so the build sheet meeting is going to be a good time that you can go through and really weigh the cost benefit analysis with your van guru personally. At this point, you can weigh cost benefit as well as price. Maybe there's an option that you'd like, but it's a little bit too expensive. And so you wanna nix it for now. At the end of this build sheet meeting, you'll come to a, a particular price for the build out that you and your van guru put together. So at this point, you've gone through your build sheet with your van guru. You like the build, you like the price. Now you're, what's in your mind is, okay, what's next? How do I get locked into the timeline to get myself a Van Do It adventure van? The next steps in that process is a minimum 10% draw of your van price that would go toward the build process and getting necessary paperwork signed and audited. This works kind of like building a home, only it's on wheels, so it's much more rad and a lot more easy. For example, you've heard of horse trading, right? Well, we can take in horses or we can take in cars or RVs or trucks or trailers that could go toward this 10% minimum draw for the build process. 
Obviously we can take more as a down payment as there are rebates that could be helpful for you in the long run. So once this 10% draw has been received by Van Do It, we will go to work on our end to work on the trade, to get you pre-approved and financed, to identify a vehicle on our lot that would be used for your particular van build out. Whether financing or paying cash, just the rest of the draw is due day of delivery, the day that you get to pick up and drive home your Van Do It adventure van. An important note though is that even though we have an initial investment that we put to use with your 10% draw, we don't start to build your van right away because there's a build time that's in front of yours. So you're like, great, I can do 10% minimum draw and I can get necessary paperwork signed and audited. So you're like, let's go, no questions asked. The next step in the next video is the build process. Stay tuned for that.